Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Cool. That's your new intro. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, that's our new okay, intro. Okay, so, um, hello and welcome to the Tyson and Michael show. Yeah. Tyson, our... you sound tired. I am tired. <laughs> I'm Olivia. Hi, I was going to introduce you, but he's like Tyson, you sound... Myself. Okay, you go for it, yeah. Hello, I'm Olivia Henderson. I'm a senior. Let's see. I'm 5'1". <laughs> I'm oh. black. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Me my too. social security number is... <laughs> <laughs> my credit card number is... My pen is... Every, I posted my credit card number on Instagram, and everyone's been asking for what oh, the... Oh, uh, yeah. CBC my Instagram is. is Olivia Eliza. That's O-L-I-V-I-A-E-L-I-Z-A. Yeah. Great. Our Instagram is Ty and no Mike. No one cares. No, I'm just Oh. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Our Instagram is Ty and Mike. Our Gmail is Tyson and Michael at gmail.com. We email have a us. Gmail? Yeah. Email us questions. Email us stuff. Why not? If you oh, have that'd ideas. Be cool. You can have like a question segment. Exactly. We have people from all over the oh, world. Oh, like Jimmy Fallon, how he does like the Twitter, like mm-hmm. Yeah. We cool. have people from all over the world. We're not as cool as Jimmy. No, we're not. No, we aren't. No. That's sad. Oh, I met a Tyson the other day. You did? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so his name is Tyson. Okay, great. <laughs> the, great. That's a good... That's a good and he had children. Uh-huh. And, but he was, like, tall is short. So kind of like you. Okay. Like, so he wasn't, like, really tall, but he's, like, tall, for, you know, for me. So mm-hmm. he's, like, short. But he was still, like, under Michael. So okay. So he was... Yeah. Okay. And he had blonde hair. And I was like, oh, oh my gosh, you're, like, Tyson, just older. And your name is Tyson. It was great. <laughs> wow. It was great. Wow. Did he have that's... glasses? I don't know. I didn't pay... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was working. Uh-huh. So I, I saw him... But I did, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to barge and be like, I have a friend named Tyson. So like that didn't want to, you know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Chill. Chill. Okay, proceed. So, um, <sighs> truth tea. Ooh. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Fun. Okay. Um, I don't know what we're going to talk about today. You know what? Do you have any gossip or you want to throw like that's going on right now or just anything? What did I say we were going to talk about when I was here? Oh, Chipotle. Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle. Okay. Chipotle is always a great topic because okay. it never dies. It's always beautiful. People always have their opinions, but mine is always right. And okay. there's haters, though. Yeah, there are haters. And but questions they're not are really... like, what about like E. coli and all that stuff? Okay, okay. Let's talk. <laughs> okay. The okay. church of Chipotle. Welcome. Here's like, Welcome to the sermon, okay? <laughs> See, though there is E. coli, well, there was, was <laughs> W-A-S uh-huh. for those who don't understand what that is google it it's great um though there was e coli past tense um it is no longer there so therefore like you can still eat there yeah and like like oh don't even uh, that is like we're gonna have to bleep that out on the podcast <laughs> yes oh every time somebody says the word <laughs> we'll bleep it out you are While not allowed is... to say language like that olivia i, I thought i we know prepped you. i know i know this this podcast is pg-13 mm-hmm. so. so chipotle is god and is Satan. I told mm-hmm. you not to say We're that word. We're gonna it out. It's okay. okay. It's just like okay. if I said another word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna bleep that word out too. <laughs> just random words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh-huh. okay, anyway. My <laughs> <laughs> bleep. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, while there was E. coli, it's, it's not there. Anymore, yeah, So yeah. therefore, we can continue our worship service. Exactly. Between... Michael, don't act like you're, yeah. like, a Chipotle goer. Okay, I'm because... the creepy guy sitting in the back of the church, okay? Yes, you I kind of believe the religion. I do believe the religion heavily. It's just I don't necessarily partake in all of the uh, religious things, i.e. cheese or anything because of my weird food Jake rules. Rattan, so. uh, what is Jake Oh, okay. He goes to yeah. Beep and eats the, jum- the gumbo... Or whatever. Why do you eat uh, gumbo? That, okay, let's okay, talk about that. Okay, we need to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> why the actual heck? Why would you do that to yourself? Why does a Mexican restaurant sell gumbo? You're not <laughs> wrong. What are you Mexicans doing uh, serving gumbo? What? That is a fun word to say, Okay, though. so gumbo? let's gumbo. look at the imaginary map that's over here. Right, exactly. Right. So Louisiana. Uh-huh. In this area. Exactly. My Mexico hometown. is a nice drive. <laughs> Very uh, nice here. drive. Literally, if okay. you wanted to get there, like, in a straight line, you would have to go across the Gulf. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it's pretty terrible. Having gumbo at a Mexican restaurant is like an Italian restaurant selling tacos. Like, it exactly. doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. They're different parts of the world. Why are you doing this? I know, this? I know, I know. So, Jake is the person who does the conspiracy theory of the week. Um, and... Uh, I hate him. He tried to tell me 
uh, what gumbo is good. He said, oh, the gumbo from Qdoba is really good. I was like, you don't know what That's gumbo trash. is because I'm from New Orleans. He's like, oh. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 think, I, think, I think I know. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. interesting. Anyway, ch- ch- Chipotle. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just want to tell you listeners out there, I'm going to try and paint you a picture right here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Try and picture the most bland, awful, terrible thing ever. Uh-huh. That's what Michael eats at Chipotle. Okay, no. You, you but are, it's still Chipotle. All, so yeah, it's still it's Chipotle. Chipotle. It's like the, like, yeah. Yeah. But there's three ingredients. There's white rice, mm-hmm. lettuce, mm-hmm. and chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all water. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, it tastes amazing. So what more could I say? They season their chicken amazingly. They do, but you're eating white rice. Just, I mean, just a cilantro in it, so it's something. Exactly, yeah. And then you have lettuce, which is just crunchy water. <laughs> it is, but it's good crunchy water. Imagine... Lettuce it, is gross. It kind of is, but I get it so that I don't just get rice and chicken, because that would be even worse. <laughs> 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 But here's the thing. Then you have those people who are like Mormons who add like a whole extra book onto the menu. Oh my gosh. Which just like add way too much stuff. Uh, Mormons are next after I finish. <laughs> okay, okay this, Mormons. Here's, here is a good way of ordering Chipotle. Hi, welcome to Chipotle. How can I help you? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> well, let so, me tell you. So, you get the bowl. Uh-huh. You get brown rice or uh-huh. white rice, you know, whatever floats your boat. Uh-huh. I prefer brown rice depending on the day. Yeah. So, brown rice. Uh-huh. Steak or chicken, it doesn't matter. I've been getting chicken lately. I used to get steak. Yeah. They're both good. Depends on your budget. I'm poor lately. So <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, brown rice, chicken, pinto beans, unless you don't want beans, I, I go back and forth. Okay. <laughs> I go back and forth. Yeah, okay. Um, and so you move forward to the next person because they, they kind of like pass off after you get to like the beans. Yeah. So it's then, like a Mexican subway. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But better. It's not as like creepy. There's not that and weird sketchy, cat guy yeah. in the corner. And like, that guy who like... And that goth was, girl that's was it, like... Didn't that guy like rape children? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, <laughs> we don't talk about him anymore. Anyway, He's after been you get the history. beans. <laughs> okay, <laughs> beans. Yeah, yeah. After you get the beans. Beans, okay. beans. So you go into like your beans. salsas, right? So there's like the mild... There's the uh, so the mild is like a pico de gallo kind of situation happening, mm-hmm. and then you have like your medium salsa, which I've never tried. It's like a salsa verde, I think. And then you have like the hot one. I used to get yeah. that one, but that was like too extreme. Uh-huh. So if you're not ready, like if you're like a Chipotle version, I wouldn't go there. Mm-hmm. So start with like the salsa. Make sure you get the corn salsa also. That corn salsa is bomb. It's like sweet uh-huh. and like oh, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then you get the cheese. Now, yeah. the cheese is where it all happens. Oh the cheese gosh. is where it comes together, okay? It's like the baptism. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I've it's never like been, been baptized, yeah, okay. then. <laughs> the cheese is like, you've been going to church for a while, but you haven't really been sure until today, and you decide, you know what? I'm going to give my life today to Jesus. Today is the day. Hashtag <laughs> cheese. So, therefore... Uh-huh. You get the cheese, and so they put like you know a little sprinkle as they do, and you're just like, and you're like, no, no, what, what is know? that? Like, like, what is this? This light snow? Like, this won't get me out of school. <laughs> light snow. So, <laughs> this won't get me out of school. I love that. <laughs> so what you need is to be like, okay, I need you to like, so you you direct them, okay? Mm. So you say, take your hand, open it up wide, okay? Yes. If it's rush hour, they might not comply, but you know it's okay. You just force them to do it because you know you're the customer. The customer, that's right. <laughs> uh-huh. So they hold out their hand. And then they, like, place it on the cheese, open still, to make sure you don't have the covered surface, uh-huh. surface area. Hashtag anatomy. And then <laughs> um, you just start grabbing for it. Like, <laughs> uh-huh. like I don't know. Yeah. Like, you're making a snowball, you know, on the day you get out of school. This all makes sense. It's, I, it's I all broke making it. sense. Wow. Okay. Just like the Bible has many analogies to real mm-hmm. life, the Chipotle menu mm-hmm. has this very This is the many. parable of the Chipotle menu. Exactly. Okay, anyway. So... You grab the cheese and you do that twice, mm-hmm. so like it looks pretty hefty. Yeah. <laughs> and then you know you you get it to go even if you're sitting there, so you can shake it up, and it like melts the cheese and like yeah. the cheese like intertwines and it, oh, it's beautiful. And yeah. Oh, you get a Clementine Izzy. Perfect. Yeah, of course. 
when you do this order, it takes like two seconds because you're like, I need this, 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 mm-hmm. and they do it. Or you could do what I do, and I order ahead, but I get there early so I can watch them while they're doing it because sometimes they don't put enough cheese if I just order online. Got it. Or when you order online and you can't be there early, you just put like three times the amount of cheese plus <laughs> two cheese on the side. Uh-huh. And sometimes if you know someone who works there at a specific time, you go at that time because they know you and they understand. Hashtag El Diablo. Exactly. We love you. If you're listening, Shout out. wherever you are. He's not listening. <laughs> Probably not. He's like, who are these crazy people? <laughs> oh my gosh, but what if he is, though? I love you. That'd be scary. I have a picture of you on my phone. <laughs> I have a picture of it's, you on my phone. It's okay, everyone it's on a this, selfie. Everyone on this podcast is going to think you're talking about the devil. Oh, no, it's not the real devil. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the real devil. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't go to Japan. He only goes to Chipotle. Of he course. works at Chipotle. Yeah, yeah, he, he works. He gives at- you Chipotle. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like that time when we met Juan the Baptist. Mm-hmm. That's who we're talking about. El Diablo, El Diablo is oh, like Mary. Name. He bring he brings Jesus. <laughs> Wait, to his you. name is El Diablo. Okay, what? his nickname is El Diablo. His real name it's is like, like a, a really I don't know. He's a really thick Mexican accent. Got it. So it's kind of hard to understand what he's saying. I think it's like. Yeah. Okay, okay good. So they it. just said call him El Diablo. That's what we all call him. Mm-hmm. So. Got it. Quality. Oh, but Mormons. <laughs> Mormons. Oh, That's a whole go. other situation. We talk about so much religion on this podcast. <laughs> okay. Last week we talked about Buddhists. Okay. Uh. So... <laughs> I had this thing with uh-huh. Mormons and where are the other people? Oh, the Amish. Love. The oh, yeah, yeah. This yes. We talked okay. about that last time, didn't we? No, we didn't. No. 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 So you have the Mormons on one side and those are like the crazy people. Then you have your Amish. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm like, uh, we, we talked about this like mm-hmm. sometime. I the thought I was Amish going crazy. The Amish are the saints of the world. Like, they're crazy. Like angels, like you know, angels like they can fight. But yeah, like, yeah. You still think they're beautiful. And they're like inanimate objects, like chairs and stuff. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> <laughs> exactly lamp sticks. But yeah, there's yeah. still the Amish, and they go to the zoo and they eat the cheese fries. And if you haven't gone to the St. Louis Zoo and got the cheese fries, you're not living life. You're not living. Yeah, yeah. You're not because those cheese fries are bomb. I don't know what. And the St. Louis Zoo is use. free. I don't so. know, but Michael doesn't eat cheese. Oh, I don't eat cheese. cheese or sauce. But they put. Uh, no, so. no, okay, see. Okay, okay. With the cheese they put in those cheese fries, I swear it's like crack. Uh Uh-huh. Like, you cannot put it down. I do not condone drugs. However. Uh Uh-huh. Like, if that was crack. Uh Uh-huh. I would be in the alley of the school. If we had an alley, we don't. We're in like... (laughs) Alleys. No, there's no let me know in the comments below if there even are <laughs> if there even are yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but anyway email us at tyson and michael at gmail.com what are you waiting for anyway it, go <laughs> follow me on instagram you can dm me you know <laughs> yeah yeah mm-hmm. okay anyway yeah but i will be in the alleys like snorting that cheese like if I <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> like the cheese i feel like you have an attraction to cheese is it like a cheese I, sauce okay let me or t- like what is it i'm just getting soft topic i suppose you talk about mormons but anyway <laughs> I love cheese. Uh huh. At this very moment, at three twenty-six p.m. September twenty-six, Monday. Great way to date this podcast. <laughs> that was so backwards, right? Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. let me say this again. Monday, September twenty-six, two thousand sixteen, at three twenty-six p.m. You all didn't think we were ahead, but we record these in advance. Mm-hmm. I know. At Boom. this moment in time, Olivia, not my last name. Don't listen to it. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia has. 13 different types of cheese in her fridge. What? At this very moment. 13? 13. Well, okay, name them. I can't name them off the top of my head. Do you I have do... Parmesan in there? Oh, of course. I hate Parmesan. Uh, uh, mm, 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 Parmesan, Provel, Feta. Oh, Mal Feta cheddar. cheese. Oh, sharp bomb. cheddar. Gosh. Oh, I love Colby sharp Jack, cheddar. Colby Jack, taco-style shredded cheese. Oh, hell I'm yeah. offended. Uh-huh. I have, the, what is it called? The, the Munster cheese. It's a really great cheese. And then I have different brands also. Cheese the gives brands, me cancer. The brands are important. The, so I, <laughs> Tyson. Tyson's so upset with me. I don't know what it is about cheese, but cheese is important to the world. Like, mm-hmm. okay, there was like a like a short period of time in the summer where I was like, maybe I should go vegan. Because they seem to be healthy in some twisted way. I don't yeah, know. no, they're not healthy. Yeah. So I was like, 
Uh, oh. <laughs> oh gosh! The I got it. Don't ah. worry. Okay. The lights in some twisted way, they just seem healthy. So therefore, I was like, okay, what do I do now? I had to get rid of all like the dairies and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, that's like vegetarianism. Is that a word? Yeah. Well, yeah. it is now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, that's a word. <laughs> so I'll start with that. And I was like, okay, what do they not eat? And I assume they don't eat cheese. But you know, they're, they're crazy. So um, who gives up meat in mean, their right mind? Like, yeah. If you're mentally, like, you're not if you're wrong. working mentally, then you should not. We talk it. about yeah. vegans and vegetarians. I mean, so much. I don't understand, though. If, like, a piece of bacon, like, passes you and you smell that, how do you not just have the urge to just be like. I think they imagine, like, a baby pig, which I get it. Like, if I was thinking about. I mean, I don't. But who thinks of Charlotte's Web while they're eating. Bacon. That's so like, depressing. That would be like, yeah, no one does that except no, for don't. the vegans. And it, I the mean, vegans are twisted. First of all, they're seeing things that are not that aren't there. Uh, so, you're not. So, <laughs> then you're hallucinating. That's the first problem. Who goes to the grocery store and looks at a piece of meat and they're like, "That's a cow." Like, what who are you? <laughs> no, that was a cow, and now it's not. Exactly. And here's the thing: if it's not a cow anymore, you might as well just eat it because it's already being killed. Exactly. Like. I'm just, like, you know, trying to get off the shelves. And no one else does <laughs> yeah, it. Exactly. And why are you so worried? Oh, my gosh, vegans. They drive me crazy. Like, why are you so worried about what I'm doing? Let me eat my meat. Okay, you're not wrong. <laughs> so, here's the thing. No, no, no. I don't want to talk about vegans again. We talk about vegans anyway, Mormons. all the time. Okay, okay back Mormons. to the Mormons. <laughs> Those snitches are crazy. Yeah. I don't know why they're so crazy. I think it's because they're jealous. And I've talked about this before. <laughs> uh-huh. But... Anytime you have like thirty wives to one person, yeah, someone's gonna be jealous. Yeah, I mean, okay, last night, oh my god, this works. God, what, what you doing? I mean, anyway, <laughs> uh-huh. so last night I watched this documentary. I watch documentaries. I'm lame. I get it. Ha ha ha. Move on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I watched a documentary about what was it? Oh, about sugar daddies. That's what I watched. Okay, about. sugar yeah. daddies. Yeah, okay. yeah. And a one of the of guys was a Mormon. Oh. And I was just like, I told you Mormons are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Mormons are ridiculous. So, like, if you ask them any question about their religion, they'll just say, oh, read our book. It's like, like I don't want to read mean? your book. It's like, read the Book of Mormon. I was like, I don't care to read the Book of Mormon. Just tell me the answer. How did Jesus get over there? It's like my mom when I'm trying to ask her, like, how do I spell this word? And she's like, read the dictionary. Who reads the exactly. dictionary? Exactly. If I can't spell it, how am I going to look it up in a dictionary? <laughs> Like, pterodactyl. I think it starts with a T. Apparently it starts with a P. So what how would I know where to look? I'm going to be looking all in the T section. <laughs> what do you mean? You look up it in the dictionary. My dad, he had a friend growing up who had to read the dictionary when he got in trouble. And he used to get in trouble a lot. So he ended up reading the dictionary three times through. What? Mm-hmm. Wow. He's really smart now. <laughs> yeah. But he I also went to jail, so he didn't end up going to college. <laughs> However, oh. he knew the dictionary <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can spell like... I don't know. He can really spell. I can't. Yeah, we know. You spell choir wrong. I misspelled the word choir. I'm so sad. I'm C-H-I-O-R. sorry. C-H-I-O-R. Chi-O-R. 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 I promise I didn't try to. I promise I thought I spelled it right. I promise I did. I promise it was spelled right. But those little... It was a witch. A witch did it. I blame witches. It was a witch! <laughs> it was a witch! Wait. Anyway, the Amish. The Amish, yeah. So the yeah. Amish are great. Yeah. I talk about it because they go to the zoo. And yeah. they, they're, they, like, infest the zoo. I think <laughs> they infest the yes, zoo. Yes, and I think it's because the zoo doesn't have much technology, you know? Like, they're all, like, no tops on your cups, no straws, you know? Save the animals, save the planet, Wait, save no, the birds no attacking straws? me while I'm eating my cheese fries. What? No <laughs> straws. No straws. Why? Because it gets into the throats of, like, the turtles or something like that. I don't know. Save the turtles. Save the polar bears. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh-huh. So the Amish. The Amish, like, yeah. They're amazing people. They were in Builder Bear Workshop at the zoo. Uh-huh. And I was just like, you go to Do you just bear. go to the zoo and I... stalk the okay, Amish? Okay, let me let me explain. <laughs> so I don't sound completely crazy. I am crazy, but I'm not completely crazy. Uh-huh. So this summer, mm-hmm. I went to the zoo with my friend, Anna Quinn. How well? <gasps> yeah, she's oh gonna, my be, gosh. On, oh, she's gonna, gonna be, be on a podcast. She's, she's gonna, gonna be on soon. a podcast. Yeah, she will be here Saturday, I think. Anyway, oh. okay. So I went to the zoo with my friend Anna and my other friend Morgan Henry. Love and her. They're amazing human beings. They if you are. Don't know them? You know, if you follow me on Instagram, you might be able to scroll through and find them. Um, <laughs> follow me, Eliza. Ha ha ha. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so we have the zoo. 
Yeah. And I was getting ketchup for, I think it was the cheese fries, but I don't really like ketchup on cheese fries. It's a whole other situation. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I turn around and I see the Amish. There's seven of them. Uh-huh. I counted. Uh-huh. And seven is the number of perfection. It is. Life. It is. So the Amish must be perfect. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like I only see them in groups of like seven or like yeah, yeah, yeah. 14 of or course. 49. <laughs> 49, uh-huh. I've never seen 49 Amish in one place, but I would be living if I the saw The Amish convention. There's only, <laughs> there's only 49 people in a room. But wait, no. Okay, let's, let's pause for a second. Okay. Again. Okay. If the Amish had a convention, how would they communicate? That's a good question. <gasps> I know. It goes back, oh my gosh, Morgan's theory. This makes so much sense. I think my life is making sense. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, it's okay, okay. Magic up. Okay. So when you're 11 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're 11 years old. You start making your own typewriter as an Amish person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So your typewriter, like, you know, you can type. Hashtag typewriter. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> question mark, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you type out like the form or whatever, and then you send it through your bird that you get, like your pigeon. Do pigeons, uh-huh. do, pigeons do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. pigeon. Through the pigeon mm-hmm. that you get when you're 12, because you know it takes you about a year to make your typewriter. So, <laughs> uh-huh. you know, as I would know. Yeah, yeah, of course. So your pigeon will fly over right to the other Amish human being across <laughs> the way. Yeah. Because you know Amish live within 10 minutes of each other. Duh. Utah? No, that's Mormons. Mormons. <laughs> Mormons are in Utah. Where are the Amish? They're everywhere. Yeah, the Amish everywhere. are in like a myth- mythical place. So the Amish ride, Narnia. <laughs> Narnia. Narnia. The Amish yeah. ride the stairwell up in the sky. So when it rains, like the Amish, that's when there's too many Amish and they're like stomping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> How they have a convention. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay. So what they do. Uh-huh. So they send it to each person and that person sends like their pigeon to the next person and then it goes in like an Amish circle. Uh-huh. Amish circle, which is like a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Illuminati because you know they're Amish. Hi. Yeah, and it's called Amazing. an Amish circle so it's not a triangle. Let's mm-hmm. get that clear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> get it. Get uh-huh. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and their houses are also Amish circles but that's a whole other situation. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, that's how they do it. And then like... That's pretty cool. And then like they go outside and they try to figure out what time it is of that day. You know, know with their little sun situation uh-huh, they have on. a sundial mm-hmm. oh they have one of those that like anyway I don't they have them all over the place yeah they do anyway <laughs> so no they go into the town square oh yeah which is actually a circle the Amish square is That's... actually a circle <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> and then you know the Amish just you know they don't dance yeah they might shuffle side to side <laughs> <laughs> they shuffle casually side No hip side. movements. No hip movements. Because that'll that's, equal rape. That's the devil. <laughs> that's you rape. know what does equal rape? Shoulders. <laughs> Shoulder. I'm so off topic, but shoulders. Uh-huh. I watched this other documentary yesterday. <laughs> Wow, our cultural, our Olivia Henderson, our cultural expert on all things cultural. I mean, please explain. Okay, so I watched this a documentary about dress codes. Uh huh. And I also watched this other documentary. This one, this is for later. I watched okay. this other documentary about people who are like ten. No, okay, no, thirteen and under watching porn. That's a whole other situation. Oh, they did like a whole documentary on it with like this child who like confessed to her mom because she's like 12 and then like this prostitute and then they did like a porn star anyway, what kind of documentaries are you watching youtube just pops them up <laughs> youtube <laughs> oh, wow it was abc family i think it and was you can find abc us. family you can find yeah, us on ABC. youtube at <laughs> oh yeah uh, at T- uh, Tyson and Michael show. Shameless self promo right there. I'm sorry. We have okay. so many shameless self promos. Donate to us. I mean, me. On give Patreon. us money for Tyson Jones Jr. Give please, me money. I'm poor. Please. I am so. No. If my job's <laughs> listening, I need more hours at work. Thanks. <laughs> um. Anyway. That'd be so what are we talking about? I don't know. I lost track. I'm okay. Oh, trending topics. Trending topics. Okay. We didn't do the introduction to truth. I was your intro. Well, I oh yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, you were. And I was going to, but I was like, you're just going right in for it. So I'm like, oh no, I was waiting. Oh, Oh, okay, go go go. Just trending topics. um, This weekend we lost two great people from this world. What, Tyson? Um, Why are you bringing everyone down? Why? What? Um, Arnold Palmer. Oh my the golfer God. named him. What? The, the, Wait, the, are you wait. serious? He died? He's yeah. not just a drink? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I play golf. Yeah. Tyson, why would you He's bring this podcast greatest. down like that? I just want to see. 87. Okay, to be expected. See, if I died before I was 90, I'm going to be pretty He, he died awaiting <laughs> a cardiac surgery. So oh! That's depressing. Wow. And also, um, Jose Fernandez, the Miami Marlins pitcher, like a oh. top prospect, died in a boating accident. Oh, I heard about it. Wasn't he like 24? Yeah, he was 24. Wow. Yeah. He was supposed to be really good at baseball. That's sad. That's yeah. depressing. I saw that on BuzzFeed. Like, and now to make results. things even more depressing. BuzzFeed is actually in my trending topics. They released a new quiz. Um, it's what... Did I take it already? It's okay. what um, Broadway musical are you based off of your favorite favorite food? Oh, yeah. Wait, what is the though. title? Oh, you did? I got Hamilton. Okay, oh, you're taking you do this that? Right Wait, what is the title? I played the that? thing like four times, and I kept getting you, Chicago. You just type my favorite food. I'll tell you after Michael takes the quiz. Okay, I have to give my favorite food? Yeah. That's there's only, You only answer once, and you pick up the entire list. It's Ooh. very important. Mm, this is difficult. So what did you get? Chicago. Mm-hmm. And I got Hamilton. I got Chicago, and there was another thing, like the first, not the second thing I got. Oh my gosh. Sarah Nolting so got amazing. Fiddler. Anna got the color purple. And Jake got um, School of Rock. And I'm like, those are all so fitting. Yeah. True. Kind of. Did I do it? Did you click it? Michael's failing in my Oh, room. you're Fiddler. Fiddler on the roof. Okay. Wow. What did you click to get I Fiddler? clicked ice cream because I liked the picture. It was like two chocolate chip cookies with like this crazy ice cream in between. It looked really good. What did you pick? I don't remember. I, I, picked, like I picked chicken wings because... Oh, I hate I, chicken wings. What, 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 you do realize you're black, right? I know, I know, I know. I don't do sauce. Uh, you don't? That's the best I do part. ketchup, barbecue... Barbecue boneless chicken wings, I can do. Okay, now those are bomb, but... Okay. Wait, boneless shout out, chicken wings? Shout yeah. out to my people... Well, I can eat it with the bone, but... Shout out to my people at Smagala's. They got the best chicken wings ever. They have this, like, homemade, like, honey mustard sauce. It's, mm-hmm. like, different. It's like a tangy barbecue honey yeah. mustard, kind of. And oh, bomb. I remember what I pressed. What? Just give me the booze. <laughs> that's wow. what Hannah Eisenbad did. <laughs> oh, that's so fitting. Yeah. Wow. So, is that trending topics? Hey guys, um, welcome back to this episode of the podcast. Wow. Um, we're doing things different. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we we were recording. We got kicked out of our fifteen thousand dollars school for no apparent reason. Yeah. The guy Wait, came in sorry, just it's like, not a $15,000 um, school, but doing? every single student there pays $15,000 okay, to go there. Okay, they get it. They're not right, that yeah. slow. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> well <laughs> Alex is listening, We've so. picked up. We've, oh, Alex is listening. Yeah. yeah. Alex, we don't pay. We do pay $15,000. The school is not just $15,000. Yeah, yeah. We're not like just in a... Just to clarify. We're not like in a cardboard shed. Zero, zero, zero. We're not in like a cardboard shed learning how to like read and write. Contrary to... We're in a car now. We're driving to Chipotle, which we talked the about earlier in, in this podcast. The person not be moving any slower right now. So we're going to do um, something. Boo! We're going to steal uh, James Corden's um, little segment and do some carpool karaoke. Yeah. So... Let's just turn on the radio, see what the first song that pops up is. Uh, now, right. this is the first time we've done a podcast. In a car. In a car. This is the first time. Our podcast is on the go, you might oh be Oh my to say. goodness. I was at a Panic at the Disco concert. Yeah. And oh this my song goodness. played three times. And then Brendan Yuri, who's the lead singer of Panic at the Disco, he never came out because it's that, the concert got rained out. And I was like, really? Wow. So I had a Sia concert. But not, uh, <laughs> I had a Sia concert. concert. Yeah. That's a fantastic story. That's really depressing. It is really depressing. Every time I think about it, I get a little bit sad. It's okay. Uh-huh. Are you okay? I blame her. Oh, same. same. Like, nobody even cared that much. Yeah. Okay, what even is Sia? Okay, so... She's like 30 something years old. She's a witch. No, I've, I've like seen her perform on like SNL and a couple other things. And she has this little like child, like yeah, yeah. scary. 
she little... doesn't. So she, <laughs> yeah. She doesn't bad? show her face. Yeah, it is. Bro, it's mad. She doesn't show her yeah. face on stage because she doesn't want recognition for anything that she does. Yeah. Because it's like out of like she she wants you to focus on the music and not on her. Oh, which that's I can admire. Pretty that. Yeah, that is very. And so I she like has that. the other girl who like does the dances, who like takes credit for all the stuff. Isn't that Maddie from um, Dance Mom? Yeah, I think it. Uh, her I name is Maddie. Her. Yeah. Yeah, I love her. It's like Maddie with a C for her last name. Maddie, yeah. Yeah. So nobody knows Sia's real name. No, I. I no, you can look it up, yeah. but nobody knows it. She used to it. be like just outright famous. Like she would just like show her face and everything, but now she doesn't really do that anymore. Yeah, she writes true. songs for like Beyonce and like yeah, she does. She, yeah, she's an amazing. Writer. She's an amazing. She wrote. Writer. Um, didn't she write like some of Rihanna's songs? She did. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. That's she writes a amazing. lot of songs. She can write a song in like three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I I am jealous of people who can do that. I'm jealous of anyone with talent. Yeah. Same. Because I have none. Oh. Wonderful day. No one cares about you, sir. That is a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. I have never been high. But have you ever, okay, have you ever been to like school or something and been like, wow, I feel very like out of it, like really high. Oh yeah, definitely. But you know, you know you didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or <laughs> times when you know you've done stuff and then you don't feel high. <laughs> or like when you like fall asleep in your garage with your car door, with uh, your car on and then you know like the fumes like, you know, in the eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you start dying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was the Monday. Um, the day after, like the three day, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I recorded this movie trailer thing. Wait, now what does this car think they're doing, driving up on the shoulder? What was what was that? Okay, to continue. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't even know where I was. Oh, I was at the movie trailer. I did no homework, no studying for like I had a test in every freaking subject the next week. And I got no sleep, and I showed up on Monday, and I was, like, dead. He was pretty Like, terrible. Michael was there. We wanted to record a podcast because uh, he was in an amazing My state. eyes were, like, bloodshot. I didn't even do anything. Like, and uh, he was in an amazing state, and we wanted to f- record a podcast, but we didn't uh, do it. Would have been really good, too. Gosh, there would have been so many concerns from the listeners. So many, yeah, they would have been worried. They'd be we like, would have Michael. lost all of our listeners. Yeah, they would have been like, Michael, I know Tyson is not that interesting, but don't you don't have to, like, drug him and yeah. all this stuff. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. Oh, my gosh. Drugs Tyson, drives him into dark rooms. Okay, let's record a podcast. Uh, ooh, I'm <laughs> oh like that gosh, Oracle. I'm we just learned, like, we learned about that in history. Mm. The Oracle of Delphi. The Oracle of Delphi. You drug me, so I'm interested on the <laughs> podcast. Uh huh. No, but did you know that there was like this? Okay, so they found like that these people were actually having visions, like these people who were like oracles of old days, because their little temple was on top of like a natural gas reserve. So they were hallucinating off of the natural gas and having visions. <laughs> So when they actually had visions, it was actually real visions just from natural gas. I can't lie, that is so dope. <laughs> it's kind of crazy though. And they were drugged up too. Yeah. Like, those so their oracles were. They're over there huffing natural gas, and I mean, goodness. Like hookah. <laughs> like a hookah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, Alice are they like changing the laws on that? Like you can't smoke or anything till you're 21. Yeah. They're thinking about it. That's gonna oh. mess up so many people. Yeah, I mean, but here's me. the thing. Honestly, as they're just gonna keep tightening the rules until it's non-existent. As and a I'm, person, I'm kind of glad about that. As a person who has asthma, I would like to plead to everyone to stop smoking. Second <laughs> smoke is real, and every time I like, okay, some people laugh and like cough and think like they're coughing, and other people are smoking just to say like, you know just being mean yeah but when i cough i'm actually choking <laughs> from I your hate, secondhand smoke like I, I, hate, I can feel my lungs like screaming yeah. for help i so hate the stop. smell of smoke yeah same it doesn't smell good it doesn't like it's not cute you don't look <laughs> it's not you don't cute look nice yeah. i mean it ruins your teeth like what are the benefits i mean honestly do you do you if like, you want to yeah. smoke go ahead and smoke just like don't i don't do it by me. i don't care yeah just don't do it around me so the only person who can get away with smoking though is Brendan Urie because he looks great while doing it. Mm. 
like his he has an album cover. Um, what is it? Too rare to oh, too yeah, rare yeah, to live yeah, too young yeah. to die or it's like switch. I was yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's great because it's in different colors. If you can smell in different colors, like in a gradient effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If go you can ahead, make it look you beautiful you. and I can see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You do you. Yeah. Like yeah. if your smoke looks like a tum Tumblr post. And go ahead. <laughs> and go unless ahead. It, unless it looks like a stock photo, you shouldn't be doing it. Unless you're breathing out rainbows. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like if you a can freaking breathe out like some real unicorns. life Snapchat <laughs> yeah, filter. Exactly. Exactly. Breathe out some A's on my test. Like that. Would be you're great. you're not wrong. Because I'll be smoking every day if I'm healthy. <laughs> But it doesn't. Uh -huh, okay? it just, yeah. I just die inside. In fact, it gives you F's on your test. So exactly. you know what? You're killing brain cells. I mean, most of you guys don't even have brains. But yeah, yeah. Add Alex Ross. Um, <laughs> Add Alex. Oh my gosh! I the feel like now this strong. podcast has just become a shade for Alex. Yeah. Like we just shade him so much. I love you, Alexis. Depending on the day. <laughs> and when you're not yelling at me about pasta. Oh. I'm sorry. I yelled at the lady. Two. <laughs> Two, what is it? Oh, Charlie's? Oh. For their Bayou shrimp pasta? Who was the idiot who thought it was a good idea to get rid of that? That was the best thing you had. They got, they got, they, they, um, they got rid of it. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That was the only thing they had going for them. <laughs> that was the only thing. Like, <laughs> before that, you guys were nobodies. Like, I didn't even go to the restaurant. Yeah. But I went, I drove out of my way for that dang pasta. I'm not Okay, better. well, we'll be back. We're gonna go get some amazing Chipotle. food, so. I want some Froyo. Michael, no bro, yo.